Let's do coloring. No, I am reading. Oh, okay. Play with blocks. No, I am reading. Okay. Good morning and a warm welcome to one and all. Greetings from the Orbis School. And yes, it is 22nd of July and we are celebrating Dear R activity. Wonder why everybody is being reading. Reading books is so much fun and it is so important to read books. You know why? Let's see. Reading helps in building one's vocabulary. Reading develops imaginations. Reading helps connect with the world better. Reading is vital because it is how we discover new things. Okay children, now you have to tell me which story is this? Yes, you guessed it right. The story of Hare and the Tortoise. Okay, now you have to tell me who is this book about children? Yes, you guessed it right again. It's about Chota Beam. Okay. And children, can you tell me what is this book about? Yes. Right. About animals. Correct. Now I'm going to read my favorite story. Come with me. But before reading, I want you all to remember three important rules of reading. The first rule. We must use a pointer finger for reading. It is our first finger out of the five fingers that we have. See, you have to put your pointer finger below the word and read. Thirsty Crow It was a hot sunny day. Okay children, now the second rule. Do you see this book? Do you see this book children? Imagine this is your book. So how are we going to turn the pages? We are going to go up right on top and very slowly and gently turn the page. Did you hear any noise like this? No, this is not the right way. And a third rule. You have to be very careful that our book does not have any dog ears. What are dog ears? Can you see when it folds and this sort of flap comes on the page? See, can you see this flap? This is called dog ears. And it looks so untidy. Now see this page. It's a neat and tidy page. Isn't it children? So always maintain your books and don't let it have dog ears. So remember the three important rules of reading. Now I'm going to read a story from my favorite book and my favorite story. Okay. The Lion and the Mouse. A lion was sleeping peacefully in a jungle one day. He woke up when something was running up and down on his body. Pretending to be still asleep, the lion slowly opened one eye. He saw a little mouse on his head. Slowly, the lion reached out and caught the little mouse in one of his large paws. He roared, I am the king of the jungle. You'll pay with this your life for showing me such disrespect. The lion caught the little mouse with his jaws. He was about to swallow it, the mouse squeaked. If you forgive me this time and let me go, 
I will be thankful to you. I may also help you in future if you are in danger. You save me, roared the lion. That is the funniest thing I have ever heard. The lion put the mouse down on the ground and said, You have made me laugh, so I cannot eat you. Get away. Go before I change my mind. The little mouse ran as fast as it could. One day, the lion was caught in a net laid by a hunter. He roared in anger. Suddenly, he heard a small squeak. Don't worry, Mr. Lion. I will soon set you free. The mouse nibbled at the net with its teeth and set the lion free. I know you didn't believe me. I told you I would help you one day, didn't I? The mouse said, Thank you, my little friend. Thank you very much. The lion said and ran away before the hunter returned. So children, now I want you all to drop aside everything and read. Read whatever you like. A storybook, a reader, a picture book, a rhyme. So keep reading, keep learning, have lots of fun. Take care. Bye-bye.